Mr. Roland Folger has just taken charge at Mercedes-Benz India and already has his first launch under his belt. Uh, many congrats on the new car. You're welcome. And thank you for speaking to us today. Sure. The car looks great. We, of course, had been expecting it for some time. Uh, the, the GLE was scheduled to arrive before, before Diwali, and so you, you've delivered on that promise. Um, the SUV portfolio for Mercedes has started to become more and more relevant the last few months. As you now come in, uh, what's your perspective on that? Well, first of all, I think it's nice for us to, con to, to be able to state that this SUV segment has grown significantly also within our portfolio. Just to give you a key figure, we have grown 70% year over year this year alone already in the SUV segment. And I think, especially in the luxury end of that segment, this is the perfect car to be positioned in. So we're looking very much forward to be able to sell it. It's almost complete. The whole picture uh, is almost complete now with uh, now the GLC expected next and everybody's talking about that space. That also becomes crucial for you because that's the one uh, segment where you didn't have a product for a long time. Yes, uh, correct. So, but first we're going to start selling this one. And I think it was a good decision also, especially that vehicle, to produce it from the day one in our local plant uh, in, uh, in uh, down south. And we were very happy that we also could convince Germany to allow us to do that. It's basically uh, our sign and trust into the local production yeah. and uh, in Pune I think this has been received very well uh, amongst our workers and we're looking very much forward to be able to present it also to our customers. They have been waiting like you mentioned before for a long time for this. No it is, it is significant and of course I know it comes in with some new features as well from a technical point of view. Um, wh where do you see that going though because of course right now the timing is great with, with the festive season that's just upon us now but, uh, but where do you see it going in terms of SUVs accounting for, let's say, a certain part of the sales of your entire portfolio? Basically, that depends very much on the general acceptance of SUVs. But what we have seen recently in the Indian marketplace, I believe, is that there is a much, much higher acceptance. People are asking for those vehicles. They've seen the benefits. They see also where the high-end luxury car segment can have a, a stronger contribution to that segment as well and it's with the acceptance naturally comes also a very much higher interest in purchasing one for themselves or that for their family and it's predominantly the high seating position that people look for in such vehicles the feeling the cocooning effect as we call it of sitting such in an elevated and safe vehicle that contributes a lot to the people wanting more of these vehicles and in India is the high ground clearance as well <laughs> well you know we, we love that um, with the GLE, uh, at the time I remember when I first drove the car, uh, I think it was in July, um, globally when you came out with it, of course now it has a sibling, there's, there's the coupe. Um, it's not a segment that's been explored too much in India. Um, there is only just the one car and, and even with that we've seen it's remained niche because you know, it's, not, it's not been pushed by that manufacturer. Uh, do you see a potential for not specifically that model but um, these intermediate crossover SUV kind of models going, going forward? I believe that uh, what I've seen so far of the Indian markets in the two weeks, there is a lot more interest in also individualization. Mm -hmm. yeah? And whether that's in the high-end luxury segment, if you look at our Maybach, that we, the Mercedes Maybach that we recently launched, or whether it goes into the more sporty section of AMG versions that basically define this high-end luxury sporty section, uh, there is a lot more demand uh, in customers. Um, also in direction of Designio that we introduced to go for individualization in the Indian marketplace. Uh, because people have the, most likely the feeling they own it to themselves, they want to do it a little bit more differently and they enjoy doing that very much. So, so there, could be, there could be potential today as opposed to a few years ago when that potential maybe didn't exist? It's a question of maturing markets yeah. and India has reached that stage. That's why we also trust that in the Indian segment, in the market here, there is still significant growth. People are just basically scratching the surface, so to speak, and they, they see what, what this level of individualization can do for them also personally. And actually, as a manufacturer, we are very well set up in order to basically uh, fulfill these wishes and these interests. The day you took office uh, was pretty much the day when you already had, uh, as a company, closed uh, the number of sales that you had done in the whole year last mm -hmm. year. Um, it's a great position for you to come in and, and, and take over, but um, we are all of course assuming that means the year will end out with Mercedes as number one in India. But um, your immediate targets, I mean you said it's, it's been two weeks, you've had a little bit of time now I think to, but not too much time, to, to take stock of everything. Um, what's going to be the priority for you uh, with your personal strategy? My idea of, the, of basically supporting this continuous growth 
and you said very nicely, yes, we are on the path because of our two-digit growth to really come out number one in this year as well. But uh, basically, now is also the time to start to invest mm -hmm. because on the back of a very good sales performance, it's so much easier to try to shape a future that will continue with that success also long term. Uh, it's all about sustainability. It's all about making this continuous success happen also in the minds of our customers by providing them with a better service than they can get anywhere else. And when I talk about service, I mean predominantly the sales process, but also the after sales process. So a experience that is equal to anything that the customer expects, I think that should be our driving force. That should be our expectation to ourselves. And this is what we will try to perform as with our dealer network in the future as well, to reconfirm customers that when they're with Mercedes, that's the best offer that they can get out there. That's, that's a promising note. So one last question that I have for you is that, um, I know I've mentioned the two weeks twice now. So in these two weeks, of course, you've obviously been taking stock of everything uh, you know that, that's coming at you from the work or the strategy point of view. But, um, but let's say by the end of the year, what would you have hoped to have achieved? Not, maybe on a personal front, I mean, is there, are you looking to travel across the country? Uh, what part of India is yet left for you to explore? Well, in the first two weeks, <laughs> what I have managed to do uh, is basically get to see some of the first dealerships. Yeah. Uh, then we had a few launches at the same time, which is always exciting because to basically show that newborn baby to the world and be very proud of it uh, is something that uh, all automotive enthusiasts always love to do. My immediate target for the first 100 days, so to speak, is understand better what makes our Indian customers tick, mm. what do they expect from a brand like us truly, and basically enlarge that by and enhance that experience by talking to most of our dealers within the first 100 days, because I believe they are our speaking uh, mode. They are our speaking role to the outside customers and we have to give them enough reasons to be enthusiastic about the brand so they can pass it on to customers as well. And that is I think uh, for me the short-term plan. Um, we're looking and setting ourselves up to see uh, how can this be done. Everybody is naturally asking when can you come by and drop by. Uh, so we'll do that in due time and hopefully I will have seen most of it to shape also an opinion about where do we stand today and what needs to be done in addition. I look forward to seeing how that unfolds and um, the next 100 days I wish you all the best and of course many more days after that too. Thank, Thank you. you very much.